It's now 76 days before the general election and the Tories have been given a big jobs boost. The ONS said that the unemployment rate has fallen to 5.7% in the three months to December. No doubt we're going to hear more about their long-term economic plan and the data also means that Cameron's zero unemployment pledge looks more plausible but youth unemployment is still relatively high at 16.2%. Elsewhere, Employment Minister Esha McVeigh revealed that one day she would like to be PM. She made the ambitious revelation on ITV's Loose Women. If I had to do a yes or no, I'll be honest, I'll say yes, she said. If the Tories do lose the election, McVeigh may well be in with a shout, but we expect another female cabinet minister to be in the running, Theresa May. Finally, the media, political and financial world was shocked as the Telegraph's chief political commentator, Peter O'Bourne, resigned. He alleged that the paper hadn't given the HSBC tax avoidance scandal fair coverage. Instead, he said the paper had decided not to upset the bank in favour of advertising revenues. O'Bourne accused the paper of a form of fraud on its readers for its coverage. But the Telegraph hit back at its former journalist and said that his allegations were astonishing an unfounded attack, full of inaccuracy and innuendo. O'Bourne has now called for an independent review of the newspaper's guidelines. That's all for this week. For more Westminster gossip and political news, be sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash politics.